Hi there, welcome to 100bytes.com. This is a short tutorial about advanced features of Eclipse debugging. In this tutorial, we are going to see a remote debugging with conditional breakpoints, so expressions, and there is a display view is there, which will how it will help for the debugging. Uh, all those things we are going to see it in this uh, tutorial. I have a Eclipse with the REST W which is a web application, uh, which is a REST application deployed in WebLogic server, which is running in the same machine, and uh, web WebLogic application, WebLogic server is running in a debug port. Okay, this is uh, the my code is like a very simple code. Let's see how it will be uh, displayed in the browser. So I'm just clicking enter, and this is how it will display because uh, this is displayed message one. Okay. Let's see how to do remote debugging. Right click, debuggers. Uh, you can select debug on server option if you have configured Oracle Web Server with uh, Eclipse uh, development environment. So in this case, even though if it is configured, I'm going to choose the debug configuration because like mostly our servers will be running in the remote machines. So I'm just selecting the debug configuration and uh, remote. Uh, select, and you have to select the remote Java application. Click new. Uh, wherever the uh, server is running the host whichever the host and the port in our in my case it's running in local host and it is port is 8453 just debug so once you once you selected the debug uh, whenever a breakpoint is hit it will open a debug perspective so in our case uh, okay so before that we, we have to set a breakpoint the breakpoint here is like i put it as a method entry breakpoint method load breakpoint now try to access this resources from the browser i'm going to end okay now we have hit up hit the breakpoint so it, it's open a debug perspective let's go to the at the end of the method like i'm just pressing an f6 okay now we are at the end of the method suppose if you want to change the values at runtime a variable value at runtime you can do it with the help of display view so if the view will uh, if the display view is not visible what you can do is just go to the window show view and click the display view uh, in this uh, like in in this view what you can do is you can do exactly what you are doing in that uh, editor that means like you can have a multiple lines of code which can be executed now now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to uh, change this ma message value or something different by its dot com okay so uh, like now we are we have removed a cut, uh, zeroth index value and adding a new value so just select all right click and um, execute that will be control u it will also give compilation error if there is any issue i'm just i'm missing in double quotes in this case i'm just entering double quotes m equal to and i'm just putting this 100 bytes dot com here okay and i'm just changing it to i'm just adding it in uppercase and the content assistance is also available okay after this select whatever you require right click and execute and press i'm going to resume this one so i have resumed it you can see uh, instead of this is message plain message one it gives on 100 100 bytes that come in the capital letter finally we will see how to do a conditional breakpoint so in the to do dot java in the returns so uh, i'm just double clicking the uh, the double clicked here yeah, breakpoint is added right click and breakpoint properties and select the conditional so i'm going to uh, do uh, break it whenever if this message is uh, array list is not greater than size is greater than zero and you have a content assistance also available size is not equal to zero then you, you have to stop it i'm just requesting from the browser yeah now it stopped because our breakpoint has uh, it's a conditional breakpoint where our message size should be greater uh, not equal to zero this conditional breakpoint also useful in many occasion where uh, especially when chasing an npe uh, where you can put a break conditional breakpoint to check for a particular variable if it is a null or not only if it has to stop okay that's all about the uh, eclipse debugging thanks for watching this video for more tutorials visit 100bytes.com